Hello and welcome to Flynn's World. This morning I've got some fresh peas and corn and a fresh mixed salad leaf mix and uh, the birds are eagerly waiting for their breakfast. This, this morning I'm going to tell you about our wonderful news for the past few weeks. We have so many birds that have fledged. Uh, we've, we've had such success with breeding this the last couple of weeks and we're so happy to share it with you. In this aviary, this is our pool aviary, we have uh, four, four pairs of bullion finches and uh, luckily for us, all four pairs have been breeding. They've all got babies and two pairs of our bullion finches, their um, babies have fledged and jumped the nest and are even looking to look for, make a new nest to start the next round of babies. Our parrot finches have had their second um, set of babies and they've had two fledglings, this one, this round. Um, we're so happy, you know, they're, they're just a lovely little bird and they're actually looking to make another nest too. So it must be the season. And my favourite bird, the, the blue parrot there, is the scarlet chested grass parrot, the neophema and they have three babies that are currently still in the nest. The mum and dad are doing such a fantastic job. This is the second time they've bred for us. The first time we got one baby that successfully uh, made it to adulthood. And this round we've got three that look really healthy and I am hoping that they all make it all the way through. Um, as you can see, the male's still looking quite bright his colors are still looking very healthy and i do attribute this to all the healthy food that they're getting here in this aviary another thing that i do attribute to our success and our happy breeding birds is the range of food that we have we have found it best to separate um, the food into individual seed mixes or, or food types so that the birds can come and choose exactly what they want and what they need um, so in this big container we do have our finch mix and in this glass container here it's an egg and biscuit mix that we've mixed with a little bit of water that's made fresh every day. Um, we have got here Japan millet, red pancreum, we've got canary seed and here is egg. I was baking this week. I put the egg into the microwave for 30 seconds, just the egg shell, and then I crunch it up and put it in here for our birds and they just love it. Oh, my scarlet chested um, bird uh, grass. This, this time of the morning is when our birds just love sitting in the sun. Um, you know, you can see the canaries there getting their feathers all out. They're sitting by the pool, getting nice and warm. Loving it. Uh, in the back corner there, if you can see in the shade, that's our fire finch family. The parents are still uh, very friendly with their babies and they like to hang out together. This is the mother, scarlet chested neophema grass parrot. And she's out having a little bit of a feed. She leaves her babies for a you know, about 10 minutes at a time. She loves her fresh food. Um, her colors are not quite at her best as she is feeding three young, but this does happen. Uh, but once the young have fledged, she'll color back up perfectly and um, look very healthy. But she is doing rather well. And as you can see, she's not very shy of me. She's just about 20 centimeters away from me. She's a very friendly bird. She likes to come and say hello and see what we're doing. Uh, and uh, she doesn't seem to mind us having a look at the babies either, which is makes, I mean, it makes us happy. <laughs> While she's out of the nest, we might go and have a look at her young and uh, see how they're going since the last update. Here's a three little baby 
red chested neophemas and they're looking so the parents have been caring for these chicks so well they've gotten so much bigger than when they first hatched they're starting to gain a little bit of fine feathers but uh, it's going to be a while before they're ready to leave the nest this is our gullion finch nest of one of our couples they laid two eggs and two eggs have hatched and they're about a week away from being fledged and leaving the nest. These are two Gullian babies that are fledged this week. They're sitting in the sun currently and they're looking rather healthy. This is our parrot finch baby. It was just being fed by its mother. I don't know if we quite caught that on camera. Now that I've moved away from the plate, you can see how much our birds love their fresh salad and their fresh vegetables. And that will all be gone by this afternoon. I love my little grass parrot finches, grass parrots. Can we talk about when the gullions have their chicks and they lay like the eggs are hatched the chicks have got these dots on either side of their mouth and the research says that it does help reflect light so at night time the parents can find the baby's throat to feed them also there are suggestions that as the bird grows and the dots become further apart, the parents can see which of their chicks are healthier than the other chicks and uh, which of the chicks probably need more food. There is uh, some inconclusive evidence as to why they have these strange markings on their mouth, but I think it does make sense if it does assist in feeding the young and also to ensure that uh, you know, the healthiest ones survive or that they can help the ones that are needing a little bit more nutrition. The other thing that uh, they've found as well is that the baby gullion chicks, they don't squawk and open their beak like other baby birds. They actually do like a rotation um, movement or a swaying motion. Uh, so it's, it does look like little aliens in a nest when they want to be fed. Uh, it probably just makes I think this makes the Gullians even more interesting. Uh, not only are they one of the most beautiful birds in the whole world, that the chicks are so strange and alien looking. Um, it just it just makes them more enticing to, to have and to breed and um, they definitely are a very interesting little bird. Thank you so much for watching our video. I uh, just uh, wanted to reiterate that this video shows that Fresh food, healthy food, a variety of food does produce a lot of healthy young. And uh, I'm so happy to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please press like and subscribe.